Hello my fellow ISOs, it's your Pack the of Five here, and before the video begins, I'd like for you to like and subscribe so that I know I'm doing a good job. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you all later. Hey, how's everybody doing? Um I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I figured I would just, you know, record a quick video, you know, talk about uh stuff so this i guess would be like another edition of wolf talk i think that's what i'm gonna call it uh yeah so i hope everybody's doing really well and i've been doing okay couldn't be any better oh shit uh, oh, i must have changed my yeah i did okay no so i changed the we got some copper. So yeah, um, before I really get into anything, um, I just want to thank everybody for helping me reach past the... Uh, oh, that's a purple one. Oh, I'm going to die to him. Reach past uh, 500 subscribers. It's a pretty solid mile point for me. Because, you know, doing YouTube for, for years. So I really appreciate it. Um, I also want to say, um, if you guys ever want to support me, I'll have my Patreon linked in the description. You don't have to do it. It's just, uh, whatever money I make from Patreon will use to help me, uh, grow the channel and, uh, hopefully merch in the future. Ow. Got murdered. So, yeah. Um, so what am I going to talk about today? Um... I mean, besides the fact, call <laughs> I was gonna do this on uh, Call of Duty, but you know, they're doing maintenance or whatever, so I can't really do anything. So yeah, I just figured I'd play this because I've been wanting to get back into this game and I haven't played it in a long time. I used to play it a lot when I was a kid. Oh my God, stop! I'm gonna die again. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna die again. So yeah, um, they just had it recently on the PC version. I'm just playing on my system because it's more convenient for me. Um, they just added uh, a modding system to it. So, so if you guys want me to try any modded stuff on my uh, laptop, just let me know, and I will certainly like if you guys make any mods or anything, I will certainly try it out. These slimes are ridiculous. Mm. So yeah. Um so I was dealing with the COD sequence thing. I was in in it for like a little bit. I need to change that coupon. Um uh, so only Alright, so what was I going to talk about? Alright, so another thing that I'm really proud about, uh, the Discord server is actually starting to get to a decent size, so I really appreciate that for me. Oh, that's me when I died. Uh, so I really appreciate that for you guys. Um, it has around 30 people right now, which isn't bad. It's more than my uh, old server for army men. So that's really cool. Um, do keep joining that. It's probably one of the best ways to contact me because I get a message pretty much instantly on there so yeah and you guys should be able to it's if you're wondering what the server is it's pretty much like a support yourself server like there I have stuff for you can put your YouTube videos like if you're going live um, you got stuff for twitch you got stuff for um, if you're somebody that posts a lot on like social media like Instagram and whatnot you can post that stuff there so yeah, um, there's a lot of opportunity there to grow if you're really in the mood for it. Um, I know I'm sounding like I'm just promoting myself right here, but um, really try not to. Um, so yeah, there hasn't really been any like real, <laughs> real games that I've been really intrigued with recently. So I've just been playing whatever. Um, I've been wanting to get back into this game. Um, I know my last scrap mechanic video wasn't so, like, great, but I want to start playing that game more. Um, I've just been kind of staying away from the first-person shooters and stuff because, like, it's not really good for my stress or anything. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, uh, 
There's been a lot of recent changes in, uh, oh shit, um, in McDonald's recently that's been irritating, but I can't really control any of that. Um, if you haven't known, uh, if I've said it in the past before or anything, oh my god, I don't like, I don't like how this is. You can't reach me. Can I please place it where I'm standing? I guess not. Yeah. Hey, these blue slimes are ridiculous. Shit. Um. Damn it. Oh, this is a copper pickaxe. Okay. I need to find torches or something. I don't want to go towards those badlands though. Um. No shit. Actually. I need to start killing these things. Oh, yeah, dude. This is way more damage. I don't, I don't like this sword. Uh, no. I've been killed like eight times already. This game is a lot harder than I thought. But yeah, uh, I am hoping to do more of this game in the future. I know somebody asked me if I have it on computer already, so. Yeah. Um, I guess another thing I've kind of been looking for, um... I really want to start getting more professional with uh, YouTube and whatnot. So if there's anybody that is watching this and is somebody that makes like pretty good art, digital artwork, I would really appreciate it if you could like hit me up because I'm more than willing to. Oh my god! I'm more than more than willing to. Uh, oh my god! Man, those eyeballs are deadly. Oh. Um, to start using your artwork and stuff in my thumbnails and whatnot because that would be amazing for what I'm doing. Um, and I would just like, like obviously I don't have money to pay people right now, so I would probably just for the time being uh, put your, if you have a YouTube channel that you use in the description, I could. This is the same damage. Okay, that's fine. I'm, is that a gold zombie? Oh my god, bro. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about this too much because I'm probably gonna have to do stuff off camera anyways. Um, so yeah, that's another thing. Uh, mainly this video is like uh, me trying to get more familiar with... Uh, trying to get more professional with everything. Uh, Fallen Star. I forget what that does. zombie with a slime on his head. So yeah, um, but I am really hoping, uh, to start getting stuff from Patreon because I, I feel like besides me giving contact, I don't really do enough for you guys and I really want to start making merch that you guys should enjoy. Um, probably if I actually do get enough money to start doing that stuff, um, uh, the first, um, Maybe 10 or 20 shirts, I'll just give out for free. Ow. Okay. Man, is it just... Well, I mean, I knew I'd put it on medium core, but I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. This is ridiculous. Oh, boy. I can't see shit. Dude, there's not even a light around me. Wow. The fallen star. I don't know why it's so dark. I'm discovering more. That's cool. I don't really know if this does anything. Oh, there's a cliff coming up. Ow. Oh my god, I'm on. Man, the creatures are ridiculous. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, what I was talking about McDonald's. So, it's been getting more stressful, um, recently, only because, like, I've said it before that, I don't know if I've said it before, I might have, um, the transition from 
morning people to night people. I think the jobs or the things that we do is not even compared. Because everybody, everybody that has been watching me for a while knows that I'm a closer, and that's why sometimes I don't get anything done on YouTube or anything. Man, these people are ridiculous. So, but it's now gotten to the point where I can't even do things that I normally do until a later time because apparently we're quote unquote uh, lazy and stuff. Well, no, let me rephrase that. They don't like that we're doing things early. But like we still do 90% of the job for the store because morning people used to do prep and stuff like that But uh, how things have changed is because at a certain time we were told that we we're, we weren't doing anything Even though we just were more productive and got things done early and so we would have time to just relax um, between orders and whatnot and that was seen as um, lazy but it's kind of hard to tell with those cameras anyways. But, um, yeah, so we went from doing, like, 90% of the prep. Well, all the prep for the store. Not even, like, I remember morning people used to do the morning prep, the prep for the lunch and shit. And now that doesn't even happen. Night people have to do it. Anyway, that does closing and whatnot. So that's fun. Um, I'm not going to get anything done in this episode. <laughs> I'm not gonna get anything done in Terraria in this episode. This is a little much for me. I knew this game was kind of difficult, but I didn't think it was that bad. I really need to make it so. Uh, I don't know where to do that in controls. Item use. Hmm. I don't know. That's another thing I don't like. So, um, yeah. But basically, it's gotten to the point where they don't like that we're doing stuff early, so they're making us do things later in the day. But we, I also don't, since I'm the person that closes grill and all that, we also, I don't have, they haven't been scheduling dish people like they used to. They're just scheduling more front people, so they can't really help me. Except maybe do dishes, but, like, I prefer somebody that at least knows how to do dishes, which is... I know, kind of hard to believe, and what not. Okay, so what was I saying? I was saying about, um, oh yeah, not getting people scheduled until the times that I need. Um, but yeah, so pretty much, I'm not able to do most of my dishes until 8 o'clock, along with me not being able to do much other stuff until around 10. And it's making it a lot difficult for me, and my only concern is, like, most other stores are, like, closed at 10. So they're able to get home around 11 o'clock if it takes that long. Um, but for some reason, our store, we are open until 11, and people come in last minute because, you know, they don't really care that much. They only care about, you know, having something to hold them over until the next day, or until they come back, um, which is kind of annoying, but I can't really control that. Um, where the heck? I'm trying to find, where the heck is my hot plug? Oh yeah. Um, it'll be a, but yeah, um, I don't know what I should, actually, how about I make, do that, and then that, yeah, there we go. That should work, so now, oh yeah, that works. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's like, you have people that don't like really, like my store manager, he doesn't work, um, night shifts at all, because he has himself set up so that he could just pretty much, uh, go in the morning and then all he does is like table and he, he like even leaves early, which is, um, not really a good example for your crew, but who am I to judge because, you know. I've been working at a miserable uh, fast food place for years, I, I guess I would take advantage of what I'm able to do because it's not like he has to be there. Um, he gets paid salary because of his position, um, but still, and most of the managers there don't really lead any example for me. Even though, honestly, I, I don't want to say that 
I would do things better than how half the managers and stuff do, but I honestly feel like I can because literally the only difference between my employee position and their manager position is they know how to like order truck and um, count bills and stuff on how much money they that was made, which is part of their job, but it's not really that hard for uh, people to do. Why is there no light around me? I guess they took that out on this very long. Flying fish could have But yeah, it's just starting to get to the point where it's like kind of stressful because like I'm one of the people that's able to like put up with a lot of shit. Like I do a majority of the cleaning at the store, including like a couple other people, uh, like a maintenance person should, but we don't, don't quote unquote need a maintenance person because you have all the night people that do all the maintenance, like taking uh, cleaning the equipment and shit, which still, like I said before, it's not really uh, considered fair. And like, I've actually tried asking to become a maintenance person because I get paid more, but you know, oh, uh, we don't need one. That's what I've been told, so, you know. It is what it is. Oh, honestly, at this point, I don't know why I complain because I'm just used to it. Yeah, you like me, stupid flying fish. But, yeah. Um, really. No, um, I really want, I do want to, like, casually, <laughs> another thing, like, you know, people are going to probably diss me for this, so I've been, uh, playing Fortnite here and there, um, only because it's the only game that me and my girlfriend can play, um, which sometimes I do enjoy, but there's still so many, like, off-brand Twitch streamers that I call them off-brand because... They think they're professional, but, like, they use, like, RPGs and stuff to get kills, and it's not, like, really showing how much skill you have, but, um, yeah, like, I, I've gotten better, I, I drop, like, nine, ten kill games every single now, but I still can't fucking get a solo win. Okay. What a very, I don't know where to go. I can't see anything. Oh, I'm just gonna die here then. I love how I have so much oxygen. Okay, this is cool. I'm just gonna die here, you know, it's fine. Uh, yeah, like I've been able to get kills with like, um, great attacks and stuff. Eliminate streamers myself, but you know, I was so close the other day. I was there was me and three other people. I had a couple. I killed a streamer headshot, 300 health with a heavy sniper. I got kills here and there. I probably killed maybe one bot. I had a nine kill game, and the rest were actual people. You can tell based on how they play and stuff um, if it's a bot or not. Um, I say I'm a lot, I'm going to stop. But yeah. And then some guy was, it was like one of the final circles, and the guy, it was a streamer that was actually like pretty good at building and stuff, because I spectated him for a little bit. And he was hiding in a building that I was next to, and he got a sniper shot, because I was just looking around, I was crouched, so it's not hard to get a headshot moving while I'm crouched. And it was just kind of irritating. Um... But I'm just hoping that I really want a game that, to come out that's like actually good. That's like open world and stuff. Like maybe a first person shooter. I never really got into GTA because people that are big. I tried playing with uh, some bigger, um, slightly bigger YouTubers, but they were kind of cockish. Like, I. Like. I used to watch the guy all the time because he was pretty chill and stuff, and I have him on social media. She hasn't been posting that much. He used to be called Tar Monster, um, but his old channel, I guess, wasn't doing well, so he got a newer one and called himself Tar. And he was pretty, he was pretty chill texting and stuff, but like, oh, those are the big monsters right there. Um, but yeah, it just, I tried playing with him. Because it really tough. That was a while ago, though. I don't know he's different now, um, but I know stress and stuff does that to people, um, 
yeah. I'm just talking about a bunch of things at this point. Um, I did hear that there's a couple of new interest games that are going to be coming out. No, Man Eater came out the other day. I'm not really into games like that, so... Ooh. Are you kidding me? You tapped me. But yeah, I need to find coal or something so I can make torches. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh, yeah. But, you know, things are just slow going at this point. I'm trying to find stuff to do because I'm tired of being, like, pissed off all the time because. I get outplayed by people that aren't skilled. And then I actually try to use effort, like using snipers in Modern Warfare and stuff. I can't compete with people that use RPGs and stuff. I don't know. It's just a lot of games are really starting to irritate me. I'm kind of surprised uh, if anybody watched the new Far Cry video, which I know it's not really popular on my channel. The only game that people seem to watch is my Steel and Flesh, which I really want to get um, Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord, but it's not really supported for my laptop, and I don't want to break my laptop, so I can't really play that right now. So I've just been playing these uh, more chill games because my stress and stuff, like, oh, I had to grab. So a thing that I had to deal with, so PIAA, which is the league that uh, my school was in, um, texted, <laughs> they basically put out saying that, so I've said before on my channel that I live in PA, um, they basically put out saying that if you don't pass your classes for um, the school year, then you can't participate in the fall, which to me is kind of like a bullshit thing to go for about because there's a lot of schools that didn't even make their work mandatory which my school which is tries to be a stud ac academically made our stuff mandatory so you got kids that don't even have to do anything and they're able to just automatically play football and then you have my school that already has their work mandatory and given it was bullshit the first like pretty much month of us being quarantined uh, which I'm glad we're in yellow now, um, it was just complete and utter, like, it was a disaster, I remember the first two or three weeks, you have teachers that would never post anything, or give you homework while we were in school, and they gave out, like, three assignments a day, and they expected kids to stay passing. There's so many, like, like I'm an average student in school because I do athletics and stuff, so I don't put the time really into, like, actual schoolwork, but I'm still able to, like, get, like, 70s and 80s, which isn't bad. I'm not, my parents aren't really strict about, um, me, uh, getting high grades as long as I'm, like, mentally doing well and, um, which hasn't been really, it's been off and on for me. Um... And I'm at least passing and getting full credit for my classes, uh, which for the most part is, which I just, for a, why I didn't have, I was planning on having a Steel and Flesh video on Friday. Um, I'm keeping it sidetracked, but it all comes around together, oh, I just got to do that. It all comes around together eventually. Um, I just got done on Saturday with all the work I needed to do to be able to pass full credits for them. You got two teachers that haven't graded anything, which is so ridiculous. I've emailed them multiple times, but they never get back to me. Because, you know, they're quote-unquote busy all the time, so. I don't know what to do about that, but there's not really anything I can really control. The work's in there, and if I get penalized for it and not able to play my sport during the fall, um, there will be hell to pay. Because it's not like, like... I got an email from my superintendent saying... Pretty much telling... Pretty much hinting that I didn't do anything. But I literally have been stressing myself out for over a week and got all the work that I needed done. 
to be able to pass classes because at this point there's no point in me trying to get a high grade because this whole marking period's been bullshit with assignments and whatnot. Um, which I know I'm not the only person that just got work from people. A lot of people. There's only been like, <laughs> there's like a couple people in each class that actually did all the work for all the classes and then people just ask them for work. Which that's pretty much what everybody does in <laughs> high school anyways, but most of the time I'm out of the loop. Because people only care about me if it concerns like football. I'm one of starting linemen, so I just use that as uh, I didn't I say use, but like honestly, the team does need full strength. But yeah, um, so yeah, you got my school that is using all of its energy for the teachers and made almost all the students like stressed out as fuck I wouldn't be surprised if most people that are done with work now are fucking out drinking and shit now because it's honestly it was like I would say college level stress which is not really needed for uh, younger people including myself because it's already bad enough you got athletes like me that don't have any time for themselves because they're always working or they're doing stuff for a sport and we finally get away from sports but then school's up their ass and yeah so I'm finally glad that I got all the work I needed done to be able to um, participate in the next fall uh, but that being said um, I should be able to start uh, uploading more I know I haven't recently because I've been doing schoolwork I actually this is probably one of the first times I've touched uh, my system in the last week and a half. I just happen to have those two videos out because I usually do my recordings on the weekends. But with work, I haven't been able to even do that because now since like I'm out of school and I got most of my work done, I've been pretty much, I'm part time, but I'm being scheduled like I am working full time. And they're gonna take advantage of that because they, my store's not as staffed as some of the other uh, stores that they have in the area but it is what it is um, so yeah I think I'm gonna end my little discussion here because um, I think you got it obviously I'm not getting anything done in this uh, game I'll probably have to do stuff off camera to even consider because I didn't realize the difficulty between beginner and mid core was actually this like it's probably easier than I'm making it out to be because I'm not really paying attention, but I'm just focused more on getting what I'm trying to say out. Um, but yeah, um, oh, there's water here. Cool. So yeah, um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Again, thanks for the support. Um, I've been getting subscribers here and there, and I really appreciate it. Uh, but if you guys know anybody that's willing to help me out with thumbnails and stuff, I would really love that um, because I don't mind making thumbnails, but. I feel like having somebody adding a creative touch, and I just want to interact with more people on the platform. Um, I feel like that would make my experience a little bit more enjoyable, make things a little bit easier for me to um, actually get work out there. Uh, and if anybody's willing to, I want. I also want to try to find somebody to help me edit stuff too, because obviously I don't really edit anything. I don't really have time to edit anything, so if somebody's able to do that, um, I can just send them uh, the raw clips and they can do some fancy edits, or if there's times where I'm not saying anything, uh, just cut it out for me. Uh, that'd be really appreciated. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up, like I said already, just me keep mumbling on. Uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.